Generally, in the literature, professionals refer to children from the ages of about one until the end of their second year as being in the toddler phase and refer to children between the ages of about three and five as being in the preschool phase. So why is that? Why is it that children are only really considered to be ready for preschool from the age of three? Believe it or not, developmentally, we actually see definite changes in children as they transition from one phase to the next. It, it's quite a broad transition that happens within a, an estimated time period, but we definitely see it. And typically, from about the age of three, children's be, children become a lot more confident, a lot more independent, and much more easy to reason with. And even though they still need a lot of guidance and a lot of attention, we generally note that there are slightly less tantrums from this age and that they interact more easily from their peers. So let's have a look at how this process develops. Learning to socialize definitely is a lifelong process and most of us are still refining our, our social skills into adulthood. But in the first few months of a baby's life, your parents really are your first playmates. They are the first one to respond to you, to interact with you. And through this loving attention, your child is starting to learn that it really is fun to interact with others. As he starts becoming more mobile, your baby will definitely show more of an interest in the world around him and he'll want to start acting, interacting with others. But keep in mind that your baby is still very egocentric. They really think about the world in terms of how it affects them and how they fit into it. And they'll interpret everything from that perspective. So socialization really will happen in very short spurts of time and mostly with the people that they are quite familiar with. Now, with being able to move away from you, your child is slowly starting to realize that actually they are indeed separate from you. And all of a sudden, after being quite happy to go off and explore, from about the ages of, but could happen at any, any time from between five months, but usually peaking between nine and 18 months, we see some separation anxiety coming out. And the problem there is that you might find that you've been taking your child, young child, to creche and to play school and they've been fine all along with separating from you and all of a sudden you might have them become very clingy and very distressed when you drop that off and that's often quite difficult for parents and for children. After 18 months, children become a lot more aware of other children and they definitely do want to interact with them. But together time usually doesn't consist of interacting as much as just sitting next to each other, what we call parallel play and playing next to each other. And ironically enough, this is also the stage at which children start developing a real sense of identity, of being separate to my mom. I am somebody of my own accord with my own likes and dislikes. And as they start developing the sense of identity, of course the idea of possession comes into play. So mine, what is mine is mine and only I'm allowed to play with it. So this is a stage where we often see them becoming very protective and a lot of skirmishes might develop. Now at this age, even though they have the feeling of possession, they don't have the language skills to be able to express that. So we often see a lot of biting, scratching that happens out of frustration of wanting to play with their own toys and not really being developmentally ready to share. Remember that young children still live mostly in the moment, so they might find it very difficult to envision anything beyond that. And that's what makes it so difficult to teach a young child the concept of turn-taking, because they can't envision that there will be a time after my friend's turn when I will have a turn as well. From about two and a half years, children slowly start to understand how to share, but keep in mind that this is still going to be very inconsistent. So one minute they might be so willing to share and the next they will just exert their dominance and this is it. So with continued reinforcement and continually explaining and encouraging that they should share, children can usually start remembering little social pleasantries, things like sharing, things like remembering, remembering to say please and thank you at the appropriate times. And that will generally also just ease social interactions a little bit. 
From the age of three, children start developing the cognitive capacity to be able to imagine what it will be like to be in another person's shoes. So this really is the foundation for developing empathy. It's still a very new concept. They're not going to get it right all the time, but at least this developing ability of theirs to empathize with others, along with their increased language skills, their ever-increasing social skills, things like remembering to say please and thank you, remembering to share, wait their turn, that all culminates developmentally around about at the age of three for them to be able to interact relatively smoothly with others and to benefit maximally from socialization. One of the benefits that does come around from sending to children to play school early is that it definitely does help to increase their vocabulary and language skills. So in summary, the recommendation is to not send your child to play school before the age of three.